Today, I want to talk about the, the core premise of the EQ2030 movement. I've been asked quite a bit lately exactly what is it about and, and why is it so important. So hopefully this is a summary of where we're at. As a species, we have seriously screwed up, putting us in the firing line of a fairly nasty future. We have never been in such a precarious position, but we've been moving towards it relentlessly for a couple of hundred years, purely out of ignorance and in some cases arrogance. So as part of the species of Homo sapiens, I have to ask, are you willing to be involved in understanding and implementing some solutions and changing the future? Because if you are not, you are part of the problem. I have to be blunt here. There's no longer any time to just fudge along day by day expecting others to fix the problem. So first, what is the problem? Well, over recent years, you've seen the rise in environmental activism from a relatively small part of the population, mostly from young people who really don't like where we're going because what they see doesn't fit their desired outcome in the future. We've seen economic collapse and recovery. We've seen the entire human race turn to panic with the COVID-19 virus, which has virtually shut down the economy of many countries with no real understanding of how it will restart, if in fact it can be. We've seen massive increases in chronic illness across the entire population of the globe, and we've turned to a diet of processed and highly modified foods that in turn have exacerbated the decline in human health, both physically and emotionally. But all of these things are just symptoms of a much deeper problem, that has expanded in size exponentially and which will be difficult to bring under control without the full and free willingness of the majority of the population to do so. The real problem is us. We bought the story that as a species we were superior and that all else was here to serve us. Of course it must be so because some excellent manipulative writers and influencers told us it was the case in the name of something called God, which gave us dominion over all creatures. As a species, we bought into the 18th century story that we are homo sapiens, that we are wise men. Well, starting to think that there's not much wise about the human race. We use language as a tool to create what we call science, to explain the things we didn't understand from our God-fearing ways. But science soon forgot about understanding the real cause or the source of the wonders of knowledge and contented itself to serve the money men. And we bought the story because these wise men supposedly knew better than us mere mortals. The truth is you have been conned. We all have. As a result, we have exceeded the planet's ability to provide what we need as a species. We have bred a massive population that this planet cannot sustain, and we've run towards a very high cliff, which we are about to throw ourselves off. So what is the solution? Well, I set up EQ2030 to try to build a global community of people who understand the real problems we face and create solutions in the name of survival of our species, along with the repair of the damage that we have already done. The core of those solutions rests in understanding the mechanisms with which we create relationships with ourselves, with others and our environment. As a species, we must have the guts to face the demon of overpopulation, the scourge of self-interest, and learn to develop and maintain emotionally balanced relationships with each other and our natural environment. And just so you know, the purpose of EQ2030 is to dramatically increase the level of emotional intelligence and cooperation in humanity by a target date of 2030. So... Are you up for the challenge to do something meaningful in your life? In fact, the first thing that needs to be done is for you to look at your life, your family and your friends and see how you can start with that. 
Join us and enjoy one of the most satisfying and useful life skills you will ever be part of. I'm Gary Johnston and I look forward to walking this path with you.